All right, we'll start this off. Um, steak cook off going this morning. It is almost eight o'clock. We're gonna go to Millington and hopefully we see some teams that, uh, you know, my best friend, he's uh, squirrel cooking right now. Well, squirrel judging, he's a celebrity judge. The, uh, what do they call it? The, the something, the fame of celebrity? I don't know, look it up. Welcome back to Blind Smoke. We're cooking. Okay, uh, truck is loaded, and it is about 7.54, load ends between 6 and 9, and luckily, this is about 8 mile drive from my house, which is awesome, because, of course, we're out of something. Uh, I gotta go to the store and get some lovely kosher salt, and foil, and ice, and soda and then I'll be on my way. And I'm doing this all by myself today, so I won't, the camera's gonna be, hopefully this new Canon camera's gonna be image stabilized, because I'm gonna be walking and talking There's some barbecue folks up there that will stop in and see. See ya. Might even see some celebrities. All right, checked in. Uh, as you can see, it got some balloons. Saw some folks uh, from Arkansas I know already, so it'll be it'll be an interesting day. This guy's a character. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're gonna load out, and it's 8:30, 9 o'clock. The so cooks meeting. More on that later. First of all, let us give a shout out to the uh, SCA sponsors, Grill Greats, BK Grills, Rectech Grills, Pit Barrel Cooker, Auto Wild Grills, Pelican Coolers, b, &B Charcoal, Cheerwine, and Thunder Wilhelm Cup. Okay, the payout today, that we're in place is 1,000 seconds, 500, third 400, fourth is 300, and fifth is 200. All right, finished steak selection. I'm with my new buddy Jerome over here. Wave hi, Jerome. Hey. <laughs> His wife ain't here either. <laughs> but as you can see, uh, let's see. I got a couple good ones. They're in the cooler getting a little chill before I trim them. And this fun's had by all. <laughs> You're on YouTube. I was looking at the balloon. <laughs> And I might head over there because they got fans. So Alan and Scott are up here today uh, from RTR Gorillas and Boar's Night Out. And uh, I'm next to, how do you say that? Uncle? Feel. Uncle Feels. Feel. And they're out of, uh, ten, out of Memphis? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I'm a little bit of Olive Branch now, but. Oh, nice. Yeah, but we're nobody, man. What? Join, join the club. We are. Welcome. Everybody got to start off somewhere. 
and we'll keep updating it as the cook gets going along. I saw some some good folks we've had just always a good time out here. So hopefully I'll edit some of this good stuff out and hopefully I'm framing myself properly. I'm gonna apologize up front for anything you may or may not hear on these <laughs> things, but uh, <laughs> we're here with Mr. and Mrs. Barber. Chris, I know you, but uh, what's your wife's name? Hey. Nice to meet you. And Chris is doing trimming. We're gonna start getting into a little bit of uh, what goes on here at the events. And you're gonna see bumping around because I got frame shots and stuff. What you doing there, brother? Sacred man. Cosmo would call that Shigan Tour 2018. <laughs> hey. But I ain't watch hey, I ain't watching nothing. Hey, it's seasonal from Walmart. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's a good looking state. I hope so. I'm chilling mine out right now, but uh I'm fixing two for an hour here just a second. Everybody got their thing and this is like uh we're all best friends until about five minutes till two, and We're then you not hear for 15 minutes. There you go. <laughs> and then you hear stuff like, "You sure you don't want me to walk your steak up for you?" <laughs> and sister, Alan, <laughs> Alan Smith from Boar's Night Out Barbecue. Uh, there's a thing that's out there now. It's yours. <laughs> that's right. Can you tell us a little bit about it? This started out years ago. A friend of mine. Gave me a little advice and gave me a little help. And we took some salt and pepper and garlic and a couple other things and um, went and made a what we called a steak rub. And we played with it a few times over the years and ended up becoming more than just a steak rub or a steak seasoning. And steaks <laughs> cooks got uh, very popular and 95% um, of the people out here are using white lightning. But it's more than just a steak seasoning. They're, they're using it as, as a one-two punch combination. They're using it as a base flavor. Uh, a lot of people use it at home on their counter instead of salt, pepper, and garlic. This is we do. Eat. This is what they use. Straight on popcorn, eggs, uh, cornbread steaks, pork chops. You name it, uh, you can put it just about on anything and it's gonna bring out some excellent flavors. It's a great uh, add-on with some of your other seasonings that you like at the house. So um, jump out, sweet swine of mine distributing. Get you ssomd.com. ssomd.com. That's right. Boysnightout.com. Uh, Walmart.com. Amazon. Piggly Wiggly. It's going into Ace Hardware soon, right? um, or Lowe's. Knock on wood. Uh, hopefully that's going to happen soon. You Ace so, people uh, get on it. Uh, yeah, we're we're just waiting on Ace. It's, Ace is the place, right? <laughs> All right. And whether he will say anything or not, I don't know. But there is something else going on with this too. Is it too soon to say? No, you because they, they've actually lost the order, so it's been ordered and shipped. We just don't know if it's left the plant or if it's in a truck line somewhere. I but, have, uh, uh, I've had a taste of this new stuff, and oh, hold on a second. You have one? I don't have the official, but um, it'll be in the same jar as this in. It's got a new label coming out, but this is a double butter garlic. Uh, it's just a little enhancement on white lighting. A little bit more flavorful, a uh, little bit different flavors. It's a great add-on to the white light and our BN, uh, BNO barbecue rub. Um, it's great seasoning by itself. It's excellent on chicken. Um, man, I, I can't say enough about what we've come up and compiled with this one. We're super excited for it. And uh, a lot of people waiting on it. We've been waiting a long time. It's been probably a year and a half in, in the making by the time we get everything worked out but we're super excited it should be out uh, probably a month or so if we find this order we'll have our hands on it oh dude i had to, i gotta try that uh it was in uh win arkansas win yeah they said it was in win uh, <laughs> come on i ain't gonna do spelling now uh it's not like we got out here because we're uh and i said this before and i'll say it again rocket scientists for some reason that's the damn go-to rocket but, uh, I don't want to bug Island any more than I have to. Uh, but anyway, white lightning gus, go pick it up. Uh, if I walk in every state tent here, anybody that's going to get called is going to have that on their as their one of their profiles. And Lord knows I use it in mine. I buy it by the bag full, and they have it by the bag full. That's right. Five pounds. And I've even seen what was that? Twenty-five pounds. Twenty-five pounds or the guy. Back, at the, Twenty-five pound box. Where was right. that guy at? It was in uh, rehab. <laughs> No, he was the guy from uh, Spring Fest. We all did Spring Fest, but anyway. All right, I'm gonna cut it off here, and uh, we'll talk some more teams. I see, uh, I see the SCA rep over there. I might get a word in with him.
Actually, I'll just edit it out. I'll just keep rolling. And the cops are coming to call. What are you up to, son? I'm going to put this on my YouTube channel. There you go. Now, there's a face that you know and love. Mr. Danny Kennedy from SCA. What's uh, happening? Got me through my uh, judging class. Yeah, we did. And, it was a struggle, uh, but we got you there. I, well, you know, I'm just talking, Alan, and uh, just happened to be one of the founders of uh, White Lightning and trying to get everybody involved in it. And it's a hot it. item around here, let me tell you. I'm telling you what. It's hot. Well, it's hot, period. Yeah. But what you guys, today? It's gonna be a good day. But uh, these are the kind of guys you meet when you come out and you sign up for SCA. You're gonna look for one of these things here, <laughs> and they're officials, and they will help you get you set up. They help you get you picking. Yeah, if you're you know, a first timer, we're gonna we're gonna try to pair you up with somebody to, to help you through the, the process and uh, learn a few things here and there. And uh, we gonna um, gonna have a lot of fun while we're doing that Man, too. I, I, even, I first met Danny in Atoka. I didn't recognize him not the second time because everybody had on parkas and winter hats and everything like that. But <laughs> it was cold. Man, it's been a ice hanging off the tents and everything. It was cold. But there's always adult beverages to keep you warm and, that is true. and honestly the people on the grills, they're both warm. Yes. So and come on out. We, we do love our adult beverages at times. Uh, you know, yes we do. I'm, yeah. I, I, yeah. <laughs> That's on tape now, so I'll, yes, there you go. Well, we all love it. But, uh, more on that later. Later. Thank you, Mr. Kennedy. All right, thank you. Part of the way I, I pulled into Toka, and my wife and I were literally freezing parts of myself I'm not going to say. And I pulled into this fine gentleman. Tell me your name. Hey, Jim Brim Hall. Jim Brim Town, Tennessee. And he is uh, from Jim John's? I'm Jim John uh, Steak Team and Pork Avenue Barbecue Team. Him and uh, who's the other gentleman that was with you? Back John there? Jennings, that's okay. my steak cooking partner. Okay. We sat there, we're freezing for about a minute and a half. It and was cold. These two guys walked up to me and said, Man, you ain't got no sides on that thing. I no, I don't. <laughs> these guys busted out extra tarps, clips, and just handed them to me. I still have them to this day. They're in my truck right now. By the way, I owe you some. It's uh, I'm gonna get a case of beer or something like that. <laughs> But it's like I, a big family. Well, I'm doing that to, we hadn't been in SCA five minutes and I already felt the, the heart and the warm, warmth of character that you get in professional cooking. And, but, uh, you cooking steak today? Yeah, yeah. Good luck, yeah. I hope you come on with it. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right. I'm, you know, if you need taste testers, dude, I don't, I don't this isn't, uh, that's paid for, that's money muscle right there. <laughs> we'll talk I, got, to, I got a small one uh, myself. That's, hey, you're never going away hungry here. That's right. Thank you, Mr. Jim. All right, we'll see you. All right. I am sitting in the truck right now because it is 89 degrees outside, but we had a rainstorm move through right during cooking, and the humidity went from zero to, oh, wow. I'm uh, just waiting. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon. Uh, I just had some pointers from a friend of mine, Malcolm Reed. Check his channel out, howtobarbecueriot.com, or the YouTube channel, How to Barbecue Riot. Uh, just giving me some pointers on videos and stuff like that. I really appreciate y'all watching these. Um, I'm going to keep putting them out. Hopefully, we'll get some stuff from scores uh, coming up soon. I hope I did okay. <laughs> I don't know. I might have over marinated the steak a little bit. But, you know, we learn every time we do something. I'm just trying to cool off a little bit so I, I don't fall over. It's hot. I just had to empty the ashes out in the grill grates. Uh, took the grill grates off, took the ashes out. The grill was up to, I did a competition, which I'll do once at home. It just, it burns a little hot charcoal. But the uh, grates were 740, 750. Uh, the charcoal did great, as always. Um, well, I'm still using a selfie stick here. Anyway, you can see uh, I'm just sitting here cooling off. Talk to y'all soon. Hopefully, we'll uh, won't have to edit too much of this out. All right, let me get this thing adjusted. <laughs> it is raining outside. Uh, just got home from Millington, and. Because I was by myself, I couldn't do all the great camera work that I've been trying to do. I got seventh place. Seven. 
Uh, and I get, oh, I went up against uh, uh, Jimmy Parsons, Malcolm Reed, uh, some of the biggest names in state, Alan Smith from Boar's Night Out, Scott Guy from RTR Grillers. I mean, Scott got sixth. Good for you. Uh, I can't say enough, but just, I got eighth the last time I cooked, seventh this time. I, I don't know what else to say other than it feels so good. Like I said, I was by myself and when I started to cook, everything goes very fast. I had the camera set up to do, just film me and I would have filled it in with, you know, some audio later. <laughs> but it started to pour and rain. So I had to pull everything up underneath the tent. The tent was leaking. Michelle, I need a new tent. Uh, so, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Gant came by and said hi. They brought the whole family. Um, hi, Laura. She watches the video. I was surprised as all get out. Uh, Miss Laura LeDuc came by. Yeah, it was nice to see her. I hadn't seen her in a while. I hadn't heard her wrist. I hope she's all right. I, I, I could sit here and just talk and talk and talk about this. I feel so good. Uh, it feels because it's it, eighth last time, seventh this time. I'm going up. I've, I've got a winning combination. I just need to tweak it just a little bit. Um, and I'll be in the money. Uh, anyway, uh, I got some really good pointers from... Uh, Malcolm Reed from How to Barbecue Right. Uh, spent about 20, 30 minutes with him today. And honestly, we didn't talk about cooking. We talked about how to do this. And he gave me some great pointers. Uh, Malcolm's been doing this for 10 years. I've been doing this for a few months. Uh, you know, and he's learned a lot of lessons that uh, awesome. And just good ideas. Uh, hey, what about this? What about this? Try this. And you know, little things like that. I mean, I've got, <laughs> I've got 35 subscribers. Uh, he's got 350 some thousand. So, uh, you know, and hats off to him. The man's, uh, you know, he's a legend barbecue. He, he just is. He, but to me, he's, you know, and he's Malcolm. Just Malcolm. Uh, his wife, Rochelle, and he have a great team. Whalen, brother Whalen, uh, with their uh, killer hogs. Uh, it is probably one of our favorites uh it's one of the three or four that we buy as far as rubs go we buy it by the sack we buy five pound sacks uh white lightning from boars night out mr eric Cotts and alan smith uh anyway when you win you, you tend to ramble on so and uh wow i got the dogs outside and uh got them well they had to they had to go outside so uh, I gotta shower up and uh, get cleaned up because my head's shiny now because it's it's waning out. And, uh, but I'll uh, I'll get this edited for y'all and get it out to you. Uh, thank you uh, very much for watching. Uh, next week uh, we're gonna pick up uh, our first set of T-shirts for our steak team, uh, Flying Smoke. So looking forward to that. Uh, uh, Scott Murphy at Talking Frogs is uh, hopefully he's doing better and uh, a little under the weather, but uh, look forward to seeing that too. And we'll uh, keep you updated and uh, keep watching. And smash that like button. Ding the bell, you get new uh, videos. I'm going to start, now that we're back into steak cooking, I'm going to start putting out more steak videos. Uh, this was just an SCA event and where I was talking to friends of mine. And uh, we'll get more in depth on how to, you know, you know the charcoal, which by the way, B&B, oh, awesome just like a laser man 30 minutes i'm dropping it i mean i welded those marks on and it got me through i'm not gonna ramble anymore good seeing y'all take care bye bye